I see the comment, but I don't see the comment. Hang on one second. Let me get my YouTube pulled up here. Oh, Moby crap. Finally got my account verified. So hopefully we don't have to worry about Streamlabs anymore for a while. If ever. But getting there real quick likes. Let's see here. Alright, where the hell's my stream at? Oh, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Who we got? I'm guessing Chris. Dante, what's going on? The mail didn't bring my chargers, so it's going to have to wait another day, unfortunately. Today we are going to go... I'm good, man. Aside from not having my damn phone operational yet. I got about 30% battery or so left on it. And I don't want to deaden it all the way without the chargers here. So I did like three hours of updates on 20% battery. So I'm sure we could get a pretty decent stream out of what's left. But I just don't want to kill it. But yeah, today... We're continuing where we left off yesterday with the Fairfield sort. Not the most entertaining TV, but I like it. So, <laughs> my apologies if it's not your thing. But be sure to tune in Friday. We got a massive box coming from one of my viewers. And I cannot wait to see what's in this joint. Stufer, what's up, man? We got all kind of sexiness going on here today. Sexiness to me, anyway. What year are these? These are 2002, I think. Yep. So we got some mitts. Roberto Alomar. Let's go ahead and get into it. We got a Jeremy Burnett's. Be a lot of dupes in this stuff. There's a move on with the mitts. Everybody needs your lawn maintained. He's the guy. That one's got damage on it. We'll throw that in the trash over there. Got two more boxes out this morning. One was a sale I made over on the Facebooks. And then the other one was old Jeff Nickel. Let's see, Encarnacion for the Reds. I love the logos on this. Makes it easy to see them. I love a good logo on a card. Fortunately, we don't have enough of these to make everything, every stack with this logo. But... What's up, Jeff? How you doing, man? Yeah, hopefully you get it squared away, man. Here's a Cliff Floyd for the fish. I love these cards. I love absolute anything. Memorabilia. I don't know why they call it memorabilia. They ain't got no damn memorabilia on them. Here's a Jeremy Giambi. Traded to the... Phillies. I can't read that. Oh, traded to Philadelphia. Nine twenty-two of O two. And I'm gonna go through these when I put them in the team boxes for damage. I'm not worried about it right now unless somebody tries to buy one. So Brandon Duckworth and Giambi. Angels, Garrett Anderson. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's an interesting Minnesota logo there. Let's see the Angels. 
one itty bitty angels card. So Yoshi Shinjo, Jeff Kent for the Giants. I got three boxes paid for this morning. One will be here Friday. I think the other one might be here Friday. If not Friday, Saturday, it'll be here. And then I got two coming from Colorado. Mr. Dale Hess hooking us up with some foosball. And who knows what else. That dude always packs a good box. Having a hard time, so decided to throw him a throw him a stack of twenties. Get some cards in the shop, help out a brother. I made him a deal. Anything he sees in the box when I open it that he didn't mean to get rid of or didn't really want to get rid of. We're going to put right back in a box and send back to him. Because I don't want to take anybody's shit that they don't want to get rid of. Let's see. A couple Matt Morris Cardinals there. These cards are sexy, man. I know y'all get tired of me saying this old shit is sexy, but yeah. I dig it, man. Let's see if my coffee's cool enough to drink yet. Hang on. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Ooh, that's potent. Damn. Mm. Gabe Kapler, Palmero for the Rangers. That's my second cup. I just made that one. I had to put a little water in it and mix it up just a little bit. Just to take a few degrees off of it. Kevin Brown for the Dodgers. I used to have a whole box of these, but I sorted a bunch of them. These are stragglers from Fairfields and sorts. And I bought a sh what I call a shiny junk wax box off of eBay a couple of years ago. And this was in it. Some of these. Actually, a bunch of these were in it. Mike Hampton Rockies. Pokey Reese. Pirates. These are really thick stock cars too. They're sexy. Shannon Stewart for the Boo Jays. Got the bird with the maple leaf on it. Keith Folk Socks and Scott Erickson for the Orange Birds. Let's see if we got some more of this stuff in there. There's some of that. Oh, there's some. Look at that. Got a couple of those. <clears throat> These are, what, year 07, I think? Yep. Nope. 01. My bad. Bobby Lopez for the Braves. We got Brady Anderson for the Orange Birds. Juan Gonzalez for the Indians, which we don't have a pie for yet. And Phil Nevin for the Padres, which we don't have a pie for yet. And we're going to put all this 80s shit to the side here. We're not going to mess with that today. Because you guys are my friends. Yeah, those things are nice, dude. All right, we got some more angels here. Some stadium club joints. Put those over there. Another Garrett Anderson. Seems like every pack in the back in the day you opened to him had that in it. There's a Mariners, Edgar Martinez. I got a Mariner stack yet? I don't think so. Don't be looking like it. Royals, we don't have a stack for it yet. Jeff Austin prospects. And the Pirates, we do have a pile for somewhere. Right there. Mr. Omar Oliveras.
yeah, I love 80s stuff too, man, but I don't want to show it on my channel too much because run all the viewers away, man. Can't be having that. Got some pretty nice logos on this stuff, so I will sort that. Anything with nice logos on it, I don't mind sorting on TV. But all the crap you have to hunt and hunt and hunt. Ooh, there's some nice ovations here. I love these. Stack those up and go through those. We'll go through these. These are some shiny ones. What are these? Got good logos on them. Uh, nope. They don't have any logos on them. So those are going to be a pain in the ass. I'll set those off to the side. We'll call this the weight and sort pile. Let's see, we got some more of these. Got nice logos on the back. Some sexy junk right here, boy. God do matter. Alright, we got a little chrome here. Got some stadium clubs. We got some Tops HD. These things are sexy right here, man. That one's got a big crease in it, so we'll throw that one away, but... Back when stadium clubs had that thick stuff going on. See how thick that card is? Take note, Tops. Bring back those days. There's a John Flaherty Gold. But they did not number them back in the day. That's got a corner issue. That one won't see the light of the day again. Throw it in the garbage. Let's see. Mark Mulder, Todd Helton, Garrett Anderson. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still trying to get the sinuses out of my throat this morning. Anything with good logos on, we'll go ahead and sort. But see, we got that Giants Jeff Kent there. That's pretty sexy. Pretty sexy. Where the hell did everybody go? Got the A's, Ben Grieve. Collectors used to grieve back in the day when they pulled his cards. He was a big deal for a little while. There's the A's pile right there. I knew I had one. Car is yellow. Yep, mine too. All right, let's see what other kind of sexy we got in here. Kevin Minch Rangers. Yeah, all this stuff has pretty decent logos on it, so we'll probably sort this. Rookies and Stars. Oh, there's some more of these. Nice. Got a Marlins. We got some 88s. I don't mind doing 88s. They got good logos on them. Uh, there's another Luis Gonzalez. There's some of this stuff here. 2000, what? 2002 Victory. Got a lot of that stuff. That's nice stuff. Uh, I'll set that down there. See the Marlins. We got a fish pile. Where'd it go? Here it is right there. Mike Lowell. And a Pokey Reese Pirate again. A lot of Pokey Reese stuff in this early 2000s stuff. And the D-backs. Luis Gonzalez. Let's get this little junk stack here fixed up here. Astros we don't have yet. Gerald Young and that guy. I don't think we got an Astros pile yet, do we? Uh, that's a nope. So we're going to make an Astros pile right there. Cardinals. We got a St. Lou pile right here. There's just Scott rolling. Yeah, I got a massive stack of those, dude. If you're looking for anybody in particular from those years, feel free to hit me up. Cause I probably got just about everybody you'd ever want out of that era. 
I quit collecting from 98 to 2006 during my Navy years. I didn't collect hardcore back in the early 90s. The 80s and I'd say till about 92 or so. I bought some cards, but I didn't go stupid on them like I usually do. Royals right there. I wish I'd never got out of it, man. I'd like to have been collecting in 2011. So I could have got about 50 trout rookies. I wouldn't be having the financial troubles I have today. Most likely. When I went to the Navy, I had a lot of debt. I had a new car note. I had... There's a Tati Senior Expos. That's a nice card. <laughs> But yeah, I had a pager bill back in the day. I had a new cell phone bill back in the day. Car note, insurance. I had a lot of bills for a youngster fresh out of high school, which I ended up not proud of it. But I ended up quitting school in my junior year. But the Navy wrote it in my contract where I could get my GED my first term. They would let me in, so... I went to school 12 hours a day, or I worked 12 hours a day, and then went to school for four hours a night while I was out to sea. Got my GED. Took a few college courses, and when I got out in 06, I uh, ended up going to college for two years, in 2008 and nine, I think. Or 2009, 2010, somewhere. No, wait. I quit working in the prison in 2007 i think and then once i quit the prison i drove truck for a little while and went to college full time and started moving around a lot like every couple months i throw my shit in the car and haul ass go find something new to do somewhere else i stayed put for two years when i went to college and then i flunked out of algebra so i had Two algebra classes and a nutrition class short of my associates. But to ever refinish and finish that degree, which I doubt I'll do because I really don't give a shit about college. I went because my grandma wanted me to. She would have been prouder if I graduated, but she was pretty proud anyway, so we just call it good. Let's see, Rockies, Jay Payton. We got a Rockies pile right there. Cardinals. Who we got? Scott Rowland. That one's got some issues on the back, but that's a sexy card, man. It's still worth a quarter with issues. Just because of the set. Yep, I was making good money back then, so I decided money was more important at the time. You raised on ham sandwiches, it really don't take a whole lot of money to impress you. Where's my brewer stack at? Do I got a brewer stack yet? I don't see one. It's not a very good logo, so... We'll have to find something with a good logo to fix that. There's a Roberto Alomar. It's got the nice embossing on it, too. It's nice and rough. Pretty cards, pretty cards. But unfortunately, you can't see who plays. Let's see. Doug Minkowitz. Twins. Twins are right there. And the Padres. Phil Nevin. Where's the pods at? There they are right there. Another Phil Nevin. How about that? Bunch of nobodies. Alright. And these stadium clubs have no logos. So we're just going to have to read them. Cardinals. 
Angels, Athletics, and the Rockies. So JD Drew. That's a nice batting practice shot. Look at that. Purdy Purdy. It's a sexy card, man. I love that card. So we'll put that right there. Didn't have but one Reds card there. Adam Dunn. It's a nice, look at the photos on these cards, man. That's beautiful. Stadium Club was the bee's knees back in the day. Yep, J.D. Drew was a beast, dude. For sure. Uh, there's a Garrett Anson. See, that photography is a lost art, dude. You imagine today's stock cards and finishes with all this photo photography on it? That'd be insane, man. A nice thick stock. You see the stock difference in those cards right there. They made a bunch of them, man. But they were they made nice stuff back in the early two thousands, late nineties, early two thousands. What year is this? This is can't read that shit. Two thousand two, I think. I get that new phone up and running, I'll be able to read it. My chargers have been 30 miles away for three days now. Because the dumbass I ordered them from sent them standard mail instead of priority. You know, people order a phone charger. It's usually kind of important they get the shit. But he don't care. He's sitting up in Brooklyn counting his money. And I'm sitting here waiting on a damn phone charger so I can use my new phone. I'm going to have to pay another month on my old phone because my charger ain't here for the new phone. So that's another 50 bucks out of my pocket. People just don't care, man. Well, if you got to, put the expedite, extra shipping on the damn price. What's up, Sam? Good to see you, brother. Feeling better, I hope. Let's see if we can find some more good logo stuff. I need some logos. Uh, let me flip through the box here and see what we can find. I think we're just going to be SOL until Friday when that NFL stuff comes in. Like I said, I love sorting all this old stuff, but it doesn't do well for logos. Where's that box at? Hang on a second. Oh, here's a few more of these. Travis Fryman, three times for the Indians. You got the Indians pile yet? I thought I did. Yep, right there. There's that box right there. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Got some pretty nice logos on this stuff. And there's another stack of this stuff right there. Another stack of this stuff right here. Got to get everybody logoed up here. Got some nice logos. Logos make the difference. Oh, here we go. Here's some nice stuff right here. Hang on a second. We'll give the uh, O2 Flare Platinum a reprieve for a second here. Chris B, what'd it do? Let's see, what do we got? There's some nice logo stuff there. There's some shiny stuff there, but not very good for logos. Let's see what the back looks like. Yep, we got logos on the back. Very nice. So we'll sort those. Once we get everybody a pile with a logo on it.
These are some pretty nice cards here. What do we got? 2003. 03 Playoff Prestige. Those some nice cards. Definitely sort those. There's an Albert Bell Gold Label for the Orgils. So the Orange Birds get a little love. We'll make that the topper for now. I like that shiny. And Tino for the Yankers. And that one's got some corner issues. So we'll throw that in the garbage. Some more of these top tens, if y'all like them from yesterday. We'll do some more of those here in a little while. Paramount 2000 Pacific Crown Collection. These are nice. And we'll do a few of those. They got some sexy logos on the back there. And then, we'll, like I said, we got a bunch of these top tens cards. I probably got 2,000 of them jokers. Seriously doubt I got the set of them. Let's see here. Those have got good logos. We'll do those. Got good logos on that stuff. Hang on one second, dudes. Got some great logos on this 03 Donruss here. Let's run some of this stuff real quick. This is nice stuff here. Let's see. Mets. I'll pull the players first and then we'll go... Go through and show off who we got here. Let's see, there's a move on. What you mean I killed the Yankees? <laughs> there's a Brandon Harris Studio Cubby. Not a Terrible looking card there. Pretty good. Cubbies, cubbies, cubbies. Somebody just hit my Google up. I'll check that here in a second. I don't have a Cubs pile yet. Still working out the sinuses, as you can see here. Nope, that's Expos up there. So we'll start a Cubs pile there. Brooker, Richie Sexton. Alex Sanchez. Oh, there's a Mets card I missed. Hold up one second. Who was that? John Olerud. Dude was a swinger back in the day. Oh, throwing away Tino? Yeah, well... I can deal with some paper loss on them. Just was very minimal. See, like that one's pushing it. You can see the paper loss at the bottom there. But a little bit of paper loss like that, as cheap as I sell them for, that's really not a, a deal breaker to me. Most of the time, I don't sell them anyway. I just give them away if they got a little bit of paper loss on them. But if they got fuzzed up corners and stuff... If I notice it, they go in the trash can. And y'all seen me throw away plenty of shit. That whole bin right there. Off to my left there. That's all jacked up cards and shipping stuff and remnants. A lot of fuzzy corners. A lot of... It's got severe paper loss where you can blatantly see it, you know. If you got to do this to see any paper loss on it, it's really not that damn bad, but 
if you're just flipping through cars and you, you can notice it immediately, that's that's no bueno. So if you ever get your boxes and you got a card that's got a little bit too much damage for you, just throw that one in the trash and hit me up. Let me know, like, hey man, this card is such and such set from year or whatever, and we'll see if I can find you a replacement that's in good shape. But yeah, if it's got notable damage, I throw it away immediately. As y'all see every day, I throw, I don't know how many damn cards away a day. But if it makes it into the team box, it's pretty, it's pretty impeccable. I don't like keeping damaged shit around. So, Phillies. Who was that? Pat Burrell? <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> shit, I forgot to order boxes last night. Damn it. I got to do that today. I am completely out of boxes. I sent my last two boxes out this morning. <clears throat> Jeff Nickel, you in here yet? I had way too many cards in your bubble mailer, so I had to send you a big box, unfortunately. It's a lot bigger than what it had to be. So, I have to go buy a big-ass roll of bubble wrap today. So I can restock my supplies. I ran. I used all my bubble wrap on that box to make sure stuff was secured properly. Yep. Uh, Mariners. I got paid this morning, so I got a brand new Uline catalog over there. Mariners, Karasahiro Sasaki. It's a nice card. I watched him pitch back in the day. Went to a lot of Mariners games. To a good many Mariners games, Rockies games, Padres games. I've been to Braves games in the old Fulton County Stadium. I hadn't been to SunTrust Park or Turner Field. Well, I went to one game at Turner Field before they closed it. And move to the new park. There's a Nick Johnson 03 Don Russ. I don't know if you're a Nick Johnson fan there, Kevin, but I'm going to put that in your pile. And get that sent out at the end of the week when I get some boxes in. Because yours ain't going to fit in a bubble mailer either if we keep going the way we're going. so. And you don't pay shipping again for a while, so there's that. I think I've sent you a box a week for, what, two or three weeks now? So, yeah, you're you're free shipping for a while. Anything over $20 is free shipping anyway. But I really get up to that $20 range. Let's see, we got my Braves. Let's see, Damian Moss, Michael Tucker. That's a nice card. Look at that shiny. Half foil, half base, regular looking stuff. It's pretty amazing, man. Let's see. RSR cards did... What did RSR do? Cardinals, Woody Williams. It's a name I haven't heard in forever. Nostalgia, baby. There's a nice one of those. Don Russ Preferreds. Those are sexy. Sexy, sexy. But yeah, I'm gonna get a... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do some digging in that Uline catalog and find out some find out some good boxes to start using. I'm getting tired of bubble wrap, bubble mailers. I'd rather just order a bunch of bubble wrap, 
in some small boxes and call it good. Well, not too small. Here's an Expos Jose Vidro. That's a nice card. If you like Expos, Dodgers. A Deo Nomo. I got a Dodgers pile yet. Yep, right there. Son of a bitch. Oh, RSR won your giveaway? Nice, dude. I didn't know you made videos, Stewie. What the hell, man? I'm going to have to go watch some of your stuff. And I don't know who, who needs to hear this in this room, but y'all listen up. Turn your camera to the left when you're looking at your phone like this. Here, let me show you. When you're looking at your phone like this and you're recording videos, stop. Turn it that way. That way you get a wide angle lens because I'm watching a phone. If I'm watching on my flat screen, I got a screen about this wide. Would you have in your phone vertical like this? Turn it like that. So instead of watching this, we're watching that. Please, for the love of God, quit filming vertical. I don't know if you're doing that. I haven't seen your shit yet, but do not do that, please. Nothing pisses me off more than finding a video I want to watch, and then I gotta watch a three-inch screen width. Always turn that shit. Please, 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 please. If you don't listen to a damn thing I say for the rest of your life, turn your damn phone sideways, people. Can't handle it. All right, I'll, I'll quit screaming at y'all now. I'd rather watch ASMR shit than sit there and watch a three-inch screen on a 50-inch TV. All right, whatever. Detroit. Ain't got a Detroit pile yet, I don't think. That's my rant for today. I might do a video on that. Get some hate mail coming in on the comments feed. That'd be cool. I watched a video the other night. I'm not going to mention who it was. I'm not going to mention what they were showing. But. I will say this. The quality of the video was fantastic. The subject matter was right up my alley. That's all I'm going to say. But like I said, I don't watch YouTube on my phone unless I'm away from the house, which is rare because I don't want to burn up my data. Which I got unlimited. Some months, some months I throttle it back if I'm not planning on going anywhere. I'll get a smaller data package because I can choose between $30 and $55 a month. I can have unlimited data if I wanted it, but usually I just save that $25 and put that shit into B.I.T.G.'s pocket with breaks and whatnot. But, with that being said, usually that's my YouTube screen right there. I'd like to see the whole freaking thing, okay? Damn. Stuart giving away the Madly Rocky. Nice, man. Mm, I got a Blue Jays pile yet. Damn, when I bit my damn lip. Getting mad at y'all. What the hell? See what happens when you film sideways. see here let's do some of these i need to get some good logos on all these stacks here this stack should have one per team in it i hope expose that one see that's noticeable paper loss there that's automatically a trash can card sorry cliff floyd 
You got jacked up, homie. That means you're going to dumpster pile. Alright, expose. We'll go through the players after I get them sorted. Should have had every team in here, I hope. Hey, what's up, Rob? These are 2002 Fleer. Pretty nice little set there. Javier Vasquez a couple times, and Michael Barrett, Platinum 02 is what these are. Kind of a throwback, looking like the 87s or 88s, whatever. Where the hell's my Expos pile at? There it is up there. All right, cool. <clears throat> Rangers, Mike Young. Actually, I'll go ahead and call out the players. Juan Gonzalez. Little Juan Go action. Rangers. I don't think we're going to have every team, unfortunately. So we're going to have some shiny stuff, and we're going to have some regular-looking stuff. There's a different Rangers logo there. Oh, it'll be McDowell. Where's the Rangers pile at? Right there. Yes, I'm covering up shiny with not shiny. Uh oh, that one's got a corner deal there. Yep. Sorry, bud. You get a one way ticket to the landfill, homie. Brewers, Eric Young. Oh, there's another Rangers card right there. How'd I miss that one, man? up to Rob still having to work doing supply missions or you get it all figured out already all right brew crew continues Eric Young Dang, another Rangers card how the hell man Brewers, Brewers. All right, that's it for the Brew Crew. One damn card. Son of a gun. Okay. All right, Phillies, Travis Lee. Yeah, these look like junk era cars, but they're actually 2003s or 2002s. I like the. The old school looking designs, as long as they're shiny and got glossy. I love gloss. I'm a sucker for glossy cards, man. Anything that's shiny, I like it. Oh, there's a Philly. Brandon Duckworth. I think Pop finally got done with breakfast. He done broke the tractor out, I think. He's going to go hang out with a neighbor and split firewood. Springtime Georgia tradition. Get your firewood split. All right. Padres, Phil Nevin. Brian Lawrence. Let's see. Padres, there's a Matt Cot or Mark Kotze, rather. Excuse me. Dude had a pretty good swing back in the day. Let's see, Padres. Hang on one second. Yep, that's what I thought. <clears throat> What day will help you find the Colorado Springs, bro? 
Padres Pow, where are you at? You're up top there. Okay. Angels, Troy Gloss. We might actually have all the teams. We might be able to complete our little project here. Another Garrett Anderson. Like, I need another damn Garrett Anderson. And Darren Erstad. Oh, medical supply. Right on, dude. Yeah, if you don't have to have the late or the uh, powdered ones, I'd recommend going to the auto parts stores and just buying the mechanics gloves. They're a lot thicker. They take a lot more abuse because I work with a lot of sharp edges and stuff, working with carburetors and stuff. They worked out great for me. I only used them when I was working with fuel and greasy shit, though. If it was just regular dirt and dust, I didn't wear them, but I was messing with petroleum products. That's a good way to dry your hands out and ended up with a bunch of cracked cuts and junk looking stuff. They're really tough, man. I recommend them highly. It's like $18 a box for $200 or $100. Uh, I'm on to see Carpenter, Delgado, and Delgado for the Boo Jays. Where's my Boo Jays pile at? Or do I have one? Yep, Boo Jays are right there. Let's see. The Houston Assholes. There's a Julio Lugo. Haven't seen that name in a while. Good to see you, Julio. Strohs, Strohs. Just the two Strohs. Billy Wagner and Lugo. And Stroh's pile is right there. Yo, Jeff, what's going on, man? Big pimping up in the crib. The Dodgers. Jeff Shaw. Yeah, we're doing a Fairfield leftover sorting slash early 2000s cherry stuff like this o2 flare premium yeah jeff shaw and grudzelinek grudzelinek they all have a syllable limit for baseball and football names this shit's getting ridiculous be like look at here pimper you gotta shorten that shit calling gruds that's all you need gruds one syllable Help out the rednecks, man. We can't even pronounce all that shit. White Sox, uh, Carlos Lee. We might make it, man. We got a lot of car or a lot of cars left in here. I'm seeing a lot of different logos, so might give cover up all that shiny right there. White Sox covered. Yankers, Rondell White. David Wells. Uh, where's some more Yankers at? That's the end of the Yankers. So, where's my Yankers pile? I heard I got a Yankers pile. I think I had to throw my Yankers cards I found earlier in the trash because I had some issues with them. There's a Mets pile right there. That's the wrong New York team, though. And unfortunately, don't got a pile for that. Yeah, I imagine that sucks, dude. Definitely hate to hear that. Uh, Mike Lowell, Luis Castillo for the fish.
Well, you came to the right place to get your mind off stuff. I'll pick on your uh pick on your team, make you get mad at me instead of thinking about all the crappy shit going on. 10 a.m., Jeff. Monday through Saturday. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, we go long. I don't think we got off till almost 1, 1, 1 1.30 yesterday, usually from 10 to noon. Everybody's got a lot of shit to do during the day, you know. But Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays pops at dialysis, so I can go all day if I need to. If y'all want something to do, if I got good enough cars to handle it. <clears throat> Like I said, I got one box coming in Friday. Another one should be here probably Friday as well, Friday or Saturday. And then me and Hess worked out a deal for two boxes. Those should be on their way. Got those paid for this morning. And then I think I'm going to order some huge bulk lots off of eBay. I've been trying to find a lot of baseball and football. Primarily football is what I'm looking for because I'm more into football. But I'm going to order some bigger, some bigger, fancier stuff once I get the supply order done for the month. I got to order some more sleeves and definitely got to order some boxes because I'm getting tired of messing with bubble wrap or bubble mailers. They're a pain in the ass. Anything over 50 cars is kind of a crap shoot whether they're gonna fit or not and the boxers are just more secure they don't cost a whole lot more to ship so i'm definitely gonna order some boxes that well it doesn't appear like we're gonna get rid of the be able to put a good logo on everything but yeah i'm definitely thinking about moving away from the bubble bubble mailer ordeal most of my most of my lots run bigger. I still keep bubble mailers for the little twenty five card and under lots, but yeah, that sucks, man. You can't even go visit them. All right, Jeff Cerillo, John Olaru for the Mariners. Well, we got the Mariners pile covered. Got the Reds pile cover with Aaron Boone and Juan Encarnacion and Sean Casey. That dude was supposed to be the next big thing. He hung around for a, quite a few years, but Twins, Brad Radke. Twins pile right there. Royal Supon. Royals power right there. Miggy Tejada right there. My Braves right there. Ken Griffey Sr. There's a Griffey Sr. Check out that Hobby Lopez, man. I think it's nasty, dude. Absolute memorabilia 01. Oh, shit. Come here, Ken. Trying to get away from me. What's wrong with you? Uh, Giants, Jason Schmidt. And the D-backs, Tony Womack. So we got everything covered up, except... Whoever the hell this guy is. Brewers, Cubs, Pirates, Rockies, everybody else is covered. And Detroit. So... See if we can't find a few good logo cards here. Expos and A's, Tejada and Vidro. Nice A's card. I'm going to put that one on the bottom there. Let's see. Expos. Let's see if 
we can find some more goodies here. Hang on a second. Logo, logo hunting. Alright, this ought to be a pretty good box for logos. Let's see. One second, peoples. Here's some logo stuff here. 92 Fleer. Unfortunately, it's 92 Fleer, but, you know. Logos are logos, man. Rangers. Uh, let's see. Twins. Twins pile is right there. Cardinals. Todd Zeal action there. A. Carney Lansford, Dave Henderson, A's pile, they got a better logo on it, so we're going to leave it alone, Expose Fitzgerald, Expose, Expose, Cubbies, Mike Harkey, Sean Bosky, there's a Greg Maddox, nice little Cubbies joints there, where's my Cubs pile at, there we go, Reds, Jose Rio, Yankers, Matt Noakes. Padres, Menin Melendez, excuse me. Having some more than reading problems, as usual. Check and see what BITG's got in the plan this evening. Phillies. And the P Rots. 
Joe Redfield. Okay. And the pirates are right there. Let's do some of this Fleer Ultra here, 94. I haven't seen any Fleer Ultra in a while. Let's see, Tigers. I'll go through the players once I get the cards sorted here. Now these are horrible for logos, so gotta read the backs, unfortunately. There's a Pedro Martinez Stadium Club. It's got a janky corner. That was going in the landfill pile. There's a Detroiter right there. Detroiters are Tony Phillips, Lou Whitaker, and Mike Moore. Got a Tigers pile. Yep, yep, right here. All right, Dodgers. Nope, oh, there's another Detroit. Hang on. Chad Kruder. Kreuter, Kruger, Freddy Krueger or something. I don't know. All right. Dodgers again. Let's go. Chop, chop. Find some stuff. Let's see here. There's a Dodger right there. Shout out to the Eloy. Old boy loves his Dodgers. Can't blame him. Let's see. Mondo C, Jim Gott, and Jose Offerman. Uh, where's my Dodgers stack at? There it is right there. What's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, pimpin'. Twinny twin twins. Seeing a good bit of Yankees in here. Let's see. Twins, twins, twins. Nope, no more twins. Sorry, Def. Couldn't find any uh, any more of your boys except for this guy, Terry Jurgensen. Twins piles right there. Got some sick stuff coming in from BITG one of these days. Got some pretty damn nice shiny trout stuff and some number joints and all kind of stuff, man. All right, Braves are, let's see, two Braves of the same Brave. Yeah, Mark Lemke. That's not a bad Brave to get. It's a pretty good dude back in the day. Did a lot of damage around the infield there. And we got some Houston assholes here. Looks like a bunch of bagwells. Let's see, Houston, Xavier Hernandez, Bagwell was sneaky good, man. Every time you see a top 10 back in the day, he was on it. So we got two baggers and a Hernandez for the Strohs. The Strohs pile is up here. All right, the Anchor Doodle Dandies. Let's see who we got for Yankers in here. These cards are really annoying. Every other card is like, here's the logo, then here's the logo, then here's the logo. I mean, come on, dude, put the shit in the same place. 
Paul O'Neill, Bobby Munoz, and Danny Tartable. How's your day, Jeff? Phone blowing up on you, bro. Giants, Giants. I do have access to some player super lots. I finally uncovered that box enough to where I can get to it if y'all want to see some super lots for players. Dave Martinez and Dave Burba for the Giants. The hell kind of name is Burba? That's like, come on, man. You ain't even trying. Let's see. Royals. About time for the little intermission smoke break here coming up. Get through the rest of these. Y'all can take three and go pee or something. I'm going to take me a shot of coffee and go burn one down real quick on the porch out there. Royals. Chris Gwynn. Yeah, there's some nice flare stuff, man. Your box went out today, Jeff. I had to use a big box because I didn't have a small one. And you had entirely too much shit to put in a bubble mailer, so... <laughs> You got a pretty nasty little box coming, though. And then I closed the deal with that dude on Facebook yesterday and got his stuff sent out to him this morning. He's a pretty cool dude, man. We were chatting last night quite a bit. Aaron for Alex Fernandez and Jason Beer for the Sox. He's a pretty cool dude. I'm trying to get him in here. Y'all y'all to get a kick out of him. He's pretty cool trying to get a lot more facebook presence if y'all are in a facebook group that has a lot of good dudes in it shout it out let them know we got the community going they want the daytime shift send them to me they want the nighttime shift send them to bitg they like to interview stuff send them to deafness you know how it is find out what they like find out who gives them what they want and send them there man We need to ramp up social media. We're already the best community out there. We just got to let everybody know it. And I don't see a whole lot of people working the social medias like we should be. Not a requirement if you don't like social media stuff, but if you're on social media all the time anyway. You see a nice card somebody pulled or whatever, it's like... Hey man, I seen somebody pull this the other day and then mention a random channel within the community. And don't spam links and all that shit and piss people off. Just say, hey man, this guy over here on I saw that pulled on YouTube last night at such and such's channel or whatever, you know. Be be kinda be kinda tactful about it. But get the word out there, man. We need We need more people, dude. We got the same twenty or thirty people in every chat room. We need some uh, new peoples. I know you scroll through social media and drool over shit all day anyway when you're not watching me or Deafness or BITG or whoever. They like an auction, send them over to Rob's house on a Saturday, or Sunday, excuse me. Why not, Kevin? Brakes are the shit, dude. I prefer brakes over anything because I can't afford a hundred dollar box of cards. Not for fifty cards. That's the only way I can afford to get some of the nicer stuff is to buy any brakes. Oh yeah, they can they can suck, dude, for sure. Especially if you drop a twenty or thirty piece on a damn break and you draw the let's say it's four dollars a team for twenty dollars, and you get unlucky enough to pull the Marlins. The well, the Brewers aren't bad anymore, but they just suck too. You know, say you get the Diamondbacks, you get the Marlins, you get the uh, 
Who's another shitty team out there? They got a lot of good good teams spread around. The Rays are pretty down. I mean, they they've got some talent, but they're not breaking down the door of the World Series vault every year. I've done that plenty of times, man. Where the hell's the pirates pile at? There it is right there. It's got a shitty logo on it. That's why I couldn't see it. Hang on. We're gonna have to put that logo back out there so I can see it. Red Sox. Damn, half of this pile is Red Sox. Jeez. Let me get through these cars so I can go smoke real quick. Let's see. Jose Okendo, Greg Harris, Danny Darwin, times two, Greg Harris again, and Billy Hatcher. For them damn bow socks. Where's my bow socks pile at? I know I got one. Are you kidding me? I don't got a Boston pile yet. The hell? What is going on here? Oh. Can't believe I ain't got a Boston pile yet. That's weird. Alright, cool. I ain't got a Boston pile. Yep, that's it's a it's a crap shoot for sure, dude. Let's see, Albert Bell, Jose Mesa for the Indians. I've got a lot of shitty luck on breaks, dude, but I still get in them because every now and then you pull that one good card. I pulled some decent autos, but I didn't PC it, and it wouldn't have brought a lot of money anyway, so I've given them back to BITG, or given them back to somebody in a stream or whatever. I, I only break with uh, BITG personally, because dude actually pays attention to the chat. I'm starting to like ripping Gypsy's page a lot too, but they do some weird shit over there I can't get into. I'll still watch, but once it gets into the Barbie shit and the, the Yo Gabba Gabba crap, and I mean, it, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock at night, ain't no kids watching that late. Show sports. Darren Dalton. But there's a lot of people buy that shit for the kids, too, so I mean, I get it, but I don't know. I don't see a whole lot on their site that's really priced affordable for me in my situation. If I'm dropping 40 or 50 or 60 or $100, I need to get some value out of it, guaranteed value, that I can actually make a little money off of, because the better I do, the better I eat. And eating's kind of important these days. Let's see, Padres... Uh, Scott Sanders, where the pods pile at? This is up here. These are nice cars, man. I just wish I had some damn logos on them. Makes the sort job suck. There's a brew crew right there. Juan Bell. Nice little brewer's pile there. I need some damn... Who is this? This is brewer's... Yep, I got two damn brewers piles. Son of a biscuit. Alright, we got two, we got Red Sox. I need to find a Red Sox card real quick. Because this ain't got no logos at all. Uh, hang on, Cardinals. Cardinals, we got a logo for up there. Rene Arrocha and Tewksbury. Start calling him Twerksberry. Sounds funnier. So Twerks. <laughs> uh, 
Well, Jabs' big advantage is he's, he pre-sells all his brakes. If he doesn't fill the brake, he doesn't sell it. And he's got such a huge Patreon following. I mean, they pay monthly, so he's got money every month already in the bank. You know, before he buys a box, he's already got the money for it set aside in his Patreon. I would imagine, I don't know this for a fact, but I would imagine every box he buys comes from his Patreon support. It doesn't come from his bank account. You know, he's got a wife, mortgage, two kids, dogs to feed. I mean, he's he's got a lot of shit on his plate. Not to mention this cancer deal probably took a lot out of it. I imagine insurance paid a bunch, but I mean, it's expensive, dude, you know? That's the benefit of having a big following. You can get bigger shit, you know? Like if I were to do a break, I'd have to go to Walmart and hit the clearance bin, you know? <laughs> That's why I don't fool with breaks. I just sort cards. I order bulk, try to get as much nice shit as I can get, sell it cheap, that way I make a little bit of money, that way y'all get some good deals, and you're able to flip shit if you want to flip it, you know, it's a real negative uh, image right now for the hobby, it's the biggest drawback is one, breakers, you know, you can't afford to get in the shit half the time, but... That's the price of doing business. If you want nice shit, you got to pay up for it like everybody else. You can either afford it or you can't. I'm in the second pile. I can't afford that shit. <laughs> I get into a break that's over 10 or 15 bo 10 or 15 dollars, I start sweating, you know. I can't afford that shit. I get my bills paid at the first of the month and whatever's left. You know, I put in cards because I know I'm going to get it back over the next couple weeks before I get paid again. Let's see. Seminara. Seminara, whatever. Padres. Well, he gets his monthly ad revenue check too, but it's not, it might be a few hundred bucks, but it's not, you can't pay the bills off of it until you get up to 100, 200, 300, a million subscribers. Then your ad revenue checks start looking like actual checks because you're only making 80% anyway. They dock you 20% right off the rip, so... You gotta have a hell of a lot of subscribers for ad revenues to be beneficial. I mean, you could you could probably get by with two or three hundred a month off of it. If I could get my channel big enough to get up to about five hundred a month off of ad revenue, that would be that's life changing money for me, dude. Five hundred dollars a month extra? Holy crap, dude! I wouldn't know how to act with extra five hundred dollars a month. I'd probably stroke out and be on the damn floor. If I found an extra 500 a month in my pocket, I wouldn't. It'd be unreal for me. That's life changing. You know. But my channel, my channel growth is dependent on the video uploads getting traction because YouTube does not promote live streams. That's why every chance I get, I upload a video, a regular video, which I'm probably going to start doing a lot more of. When I find cool sets and stuff, and I got a lot of cards in that set, I'm probably going to start uploading a video every time I find a cool card in the set. Oh, there's a damaged corner right there. Cal Edgar, Daryl Hamilton, John Jaha. For them brew crews. Brew crews are right there. Never get there because of who? Japs? Oh, yeah, a lot of the subscription boxes and stuff, people donate all the time. That's the benefit of being a big channel, man. If, you, if you've got nice shit, because he, most of his subs, y'all don't realize this, but most of his subs didn't come from baseball cards. They come from back in the day when he was at all the MLB parks catching home run balls and foul balls and back to batting practice. He had his sub base 
from that. He didn't have it from YouTube or from baseball card breaks. He transferred into baseball card breaks and grown a lot from it, but most of his successes came from ball hawking skills and all that stuff back in the day. And he's only been on YouTube doing cards for what, a year and a half, two years? Like full time, he did some hobby stuff a couple years ago, but. Just because somebody's huge doesn't mean your channel can't be huge. I mean, everybody's growing. I've spent the last year and a half or so, except for a couple months, I took off for mental health reasons. My meds got all screwed up, and then after Grandma passed, I just got into a funky place. I just had to step away for a minute. You know, but within a year and a half, I went from, like, I think I had four subscribers completely accidental. I didn't have a video up yet, up until about a year and a half ago. And then I've grown to almost, what, 440 subscribers? Even with 440 subscribers, I got the same 10 people in here every day, which... You don't get me wrong, I love all 10 of y'all, some beaches, for coming in here and hanging out. You know, whether you buy shit or not, I don't care. I prefer if you did, but if you don't, that's fine too. You're still my homie. Still love you the same. Money doesn't make you impressive to me. Loyalty makes you impressive to me. So as long as you're loyal... Throw me a thumbs up every now and then and swing in and say hey and hang out and chat with the peoples and life is good, man. If you see some 25 cent shit you gotta have and can't live without, we'll hook you up with it, but it's not necessary. Do we like it when people buy our shit? Of course we do. Everybody does. You'd be lying if you said you didn't care a little bit because, well... Like I said, my situation is different than a lot of folks. A lot of folks are able to get out there and work, get out there and have life. You know, grandpa is my life. Nothing I do happens without me checking his schedule, seeing what he's got doctor's appointment wise, seeing how he's feeling that day. You know, if he's up and frisky and hanging out with a neighbor cutting firewood with a uh, hydraulic fire splitter, firewood splitter he built. You know, him and the neighbor help each other out a lot. Let's see, Royals. Let's see, Chris Haney, Felix Jose. The Royals pile that. There it is. Yeah, well, I, I deal with a lot of nerve damage. I can get out of bed one morning, tweak my back or my neck the wrong way, and I can't move for about two weeks. Some days it takes me ten minutes to drag my sorry ass from the bed to my chair to my desk here. You know, but I do what I can. I try to force myself to get out and do stuff, but, you know, every time I get to where I can do something... Either the truck breaks down or I tweak something the wrong way. And Let's see. Mike Trombley for the Twins. Having limitations is bullshit, dude. I hate limitations. I wish I didn't have limitations, but that's just part of life. Now that I'm on the wrong side of 40, it's going to keep getting worse, unfortunately. Not a whole lot I can do about it. So, guess what? Pull your pants up one leg at a time every day. Do what you can do. And the rest ain't up to you, bro. Just show up, dude. Show up, hang out, bullshit with me. Don't leave when I go smoke, like right now. <laughs> I get my damn sign to stand up and quit acting like a dumbass here. All right, hang on. Take a three-piece, man. We're going to go burn one real quick.
right, fellas. Holy shnikes, we didn't lose anybody. That's awesome. Appreciate it, Pippa. All right, let's see here. What do we do? What do we do? First off, I can straighten that Yankees pile up there for Kevin. There we go. All right, let's see here. What do we got going on? There's some sexy little cards right here. Let's do these. Phillies of Pirates. Jim Tomey, Pat Burrow, Aramis Ramirez, and Brian Giles. Yeah, I haven't seen Polly in a while either. He's usually working this time of day. He doesn't show up here very often, but usually in BITG's room for here and there a little bit. All right, some decent Pirates logos. We're going to leave those on top there. Let's see here. Look at these joints, man. These things are nice. 03 Fleer. Look how pretty them are. Let's see, Aubrey Huff, Devil Race, Devil Race pile is right there. Got a pee, huh? <laughs> Get your milk jug and sit by your chair, man. And that one's got some pretty substantial paper loss, so we're gonna chuck that one. That one's got a crease in it. Chuck that one. <laughs> And that one's, yeah, it's got paper loss too. Sorry, bags. You get to go in the dumpster, homie. That one's a nice one. Jim Edmonds. Let's see here. Garrett Anderson Angels. Got another stack of these Indians. I'll show you who we get after I get them sorted here. And head's starting to clog up again. This piling's unreal. Hopefully, it'll get done falling here soon. Let's see Juan Gonzalez for Robbie Alomar for the Indians. Heater just kicked on again. I'm gonna turn it off here in a second. All right, get that turned off there. Mariners. A good bit of Mariner stuff in this stack. Shout out to my buddy Ben Wells. His work schedule changed on him a few months back, so he hadn't been able to make it. Mariners, that's right. That's all the Mariner stuff. Let's see what kind of Mariners we got. Freddy Garcia, ERA leaders, fourth place. Craig Kuzmit, top ten prospects. Mike Cameron, stolen base leaders, rounded out the top ten there. Hits leaders, Brett Boone. Saves leaders, Kazuhiro Sasaki. Two of those. And Clint Maggiotti, top 10 prospects, number two in their farm system. Pretty nice. I love the top 10 stuff. A lot of good stats and stuff on there. Hey, John, what's up, bud? Did you get your PayPal? All right. Let's see. Astros. <laughs> Yeah, send a little extra. Just throw that extra on your USO donation there for me, if you would. Or get yourself some Taco Bell or something delivered. Run to the bank. Go ahead, Stewie. With your badass. Let's see. 
Lance Berkman number six in average. Lance Berkman number nine in slugging. And Lance Berkman number one in doubles. How many doubles did he get that year? 55 doubles. Todd Hilton, 54. All right, good deal, buddy. I appreciate you, homie. Always look forward to them early collectibles boxes. That dude puts put some nice boxes together, man. Y'all make sure to send him a thank you and go watch his USO streams if you're not sub to him. He donates a lot of time and money to charity, so definitely a good guy to follow. Anybody that helps the vets like myself out, automatically good people in my book. They could sit around and sort 90s Don Russ all day and I'd still watch them. I'd hope that they do something besides 90s Don Russ, but you know, he does. <laughs> Good dude, man. Proud to call you a homie. Phillies. Who we got for Phillies? Not much. Let's see what we got. Bobby Abreu, stolen base leaders, number nine with 36. I didn't think of, I don't remember Ichiro being that good of a stolen base guy, but he stole 56 bags in 2001. That's a lot of bags, dude. More known for his bat and his defense. That one's got something on it there. Who is it? Is it a good guy? Uh, Mauricio Lara, not really, so we'll throw that in the garbage over there. Phillies. Right there. An eight pounder. Very nice. Let's see. Did I not send that friends and family dude? I usually send friends and family to my normal people. People I order from regularly usually get friends and family. Daryl Kyle and Placido Polanco. I might have forgot to click it. I sent all the PayPal out this morning when I was about half awake prior to my coffee, so. Usually I try to send that friends and family. If I didn't, my apologies this time around. Let's see, Barry Zito, Jason Giambi, two each. For the A's. Some pretty nice stuff this morning. But yeah, we got a a 15 pound box of cars coming from Ricky Clark. That'll be here Friday. So Friday stream should be a damn nice one. Y'all swing in for that. And then Saturday morning. We'll go up through and do the uh, quarter start auction. Probably do some team lots, claim the table kind of deal like we did last weekend. It was a pretty good deal. Yeah, they took their piece, damn it. I'm going to start paying more attention to that. I, I usually do my business shit early in the morning when I hadn't had coffee too good yet. So That's my bad, dude. I'll take care of you, though. Start paying a little more attention. See, Rafi Palmero, home run leaders. How many did he hit in 2001? Let's see. Eighth place at 47 as a DH. I think they ought to do away with the DH rule personally, but that's my opinion. It's not fair for one division or one league having the pitchers hit and then the other league having their Casey at bat, you know, if you remember the Casey at bat storybook growing up. I think the DH is uh, bullshit, personally, but 
like I said, I'm not monetized, so I don't get paid for my opinions yet. <laughs> Yeah, I try to, man. I try to take care of y'all. Let's see. Red Sox. I made a Red Sox pile right there. Yeah, PayPal definitely makes a nice living taking advantage of people processing payments. It's only 2%. It could be a lot worse, but... Seen it anything less than twenty or thirty dollars a shot, you know, really don't notice it a whole lot. You get into the hundred, twenty, hundred and fifty range, like I do most of the time. Kinda have to make sure you send that shit friends and family. Alright, and the diamondbacks, Gonzalez. Let's see what we can find next here. We got some good logos on this stuff. There's just not many of them. Detroit. Debbie Cruz and Gabe Alvarez for the Tigers. All right, straighten up there, Tiger. There you go. Phillies. Kevin Sepsic. This is how you say that. Let's see, Palmero Orioles. What do you mean you didn't want anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you were just going to send that box for free. I'm like, oh, no, 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 sir. You are not sending shit for free, brother. At the very least, I'm paying shipping and throwing in some Taco Bell money. Or whatever your restaurant of choice is. Mine's Taco Bell. That one got that. Nope, that's a good one. Clasco. Nice. Alright, cars. Get off of there. You're just messing up my mouse, damn it. Alright, here we go. Let's see here. Got some logos, white socks. These some nice backs. I like these backs. White socks. Jesus Pena. Nice little card. Pacific Paramount 2000, I think is what these are. Yep. Expose. Miguel Batista. I'm going to start a new Expos box today when I put these away, or tomorrow, or whenever. I just emptied my box out, so I got a while yet before I got to fill them up. Let's see, Armando Benitez times two for the Mets. Kevin Lightcap is your friend. Who is Kevin Lightcap? Oh, there you go, Kevin. What's up, dude? I didn't see you come in there, man. Let's see. Marlon Anderson a couple times for the Phillies. Glad to have you, Kevin. Number two. <laughs> uh, Red Sox. No more. I got a lot of nice no more. Garcia Parra junk. Actually, he actually got a pretty good Boston symbol right there on his shirt, so we don't need a logo for Boston anymore. That's pretty dope. And Padres, Kilvio Veras. Padres joints are right there. Dodgers a couple times here. Craig Council, Devin White. Dodgers. 
You make videos, Kevin? Or no? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you a click anyway. We like clicking on everybody here. If you don't make videos, that's cool. You might decide to start one day and need some subs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you clicked up over here. There you go. All right, there you go, buddy. Got you clicked up, man. Appreciate you coming in. Miguel Cairo for the Devil Rays. Let's see what we got in this stack right here. Rookies and stars. Oh, yeah, we got some good logos here. This will work. Rangers, Kevin Minch. Not a bad little card there. Rangers, Rangers. Logos are kind of hard to see, but they're on there. Let's see if we can find some good stuff in here. Nope. Sorry, Charlie. It's all junk. All right. Let's see here. Phillies. Nick Burgess. Pretty nice little Bowman Chrome there from 2003, it looks like. Phillies, let's see what kind of Phillies action we get out of here. Thought I saw another Phillies card back here somewhere. And that's why I don't get paid to think, because I was wrong. Phillies right there. Alright. Hey, light cap. Uh, tonight about... Somewhere between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, BITG Breaks will be online. And I highly recommend you swing by there. You can pick up quite a few subs if you want to subs. I don't know what you use YouTube for if you're uh, planning to make stuff or whatever. But if you want to pick up some clicks, man, start hanging out with us. You'll get a lot of clicks. Let's see, Cleveland. I gotta start over. I wasn't looking for a Cleveland logo, so let's look for a Cleveland this time. Since a nasty. Let's see. Y'all fight each other for Yankees cards, Kevin, or no? <laughs> Surely you didn't bring competition up in here. All right, the Orgials, Dave Segui. I didn't even tell you who that last one was. I didn't even look at it. Shit, my bad. I'm only on coffee number two for today, so I'm not quite there yet. There's a Jeff Conan. That's a nice one. Or maybe I did call it out. I don't remember. Everything will be all right, my... He knows you'll kick his ace. Are you sure? <laughs> Let's see. The twins. I think it's the twins. Yep, twins. Eric Milton. Or the twinny twin twins. There they are right there. It's a pretty shitty name for twins today. Some old school stuff. Not a whole lot of old school stuff comes out of there good. Too good. Unless you're a PC guy. Like Deafness. Eric Hensky, Blue Jays. And Billy Cook, Blue Jays. Blue Jays joints are right there. Alright, Tampa Bay, Randy Wynn. Don't recall seeing any more Tampa back here. Nope. Just a one little bitty Tampa card there. Sucks, but that's how it goes. All right. The D bags. Don't think we got any more D bags back here. And we don't. Another Lugo. 
Need to find a Luis Gonzalez piece here. I got tons of his shit somewhere. Now, yeah, a lot of it's in the box already, but I got stuff I haven't sorted yet. Who is this? Astros. Richard Hidalgo. I guess that's how you say that. That's how I'm going to say it. If it's wrong, it's just going to have to be wrong. Oh, yeah. I forgot John. Yeah. You're the... You're the twins dude as well. All my Minnesota stuff gets chopped up between you and Deafness. Let's see. The Pirates. It's not a very good logo, but it's better than nothing. I'm going to cover up that gray. Actually, that one's got a fuzzy corner on it anyway, so that needs to go into trash. Mr. Ramirez. Alright, the fish. I know we don't have any fish in here, I don't think. Nope, Preston Wilson is it, unfortunately. Except for the mid-2000s, the fish really don't have any good cards. If you pull the marlins in a break, man, you just you need to go kill some rabbits and steal their feet or something, because you're... Yeah. You're bringing up the rear, man. There's a Maglio Ordonez and a Carlos Lee for the White Sox. That's some nice stuff there. I like that. Let's see. The Redbirds of St. Louis. Matt Morris. Cardinals getting a pretty nice little stack of stuff going over here today. The Reds, Sean Casey. Was supposed to be their bell cow and ended up being the horse's ass, unfortunately. I <laughs> got your back, Earl. <laughs> Let's see. Cubbies, Matt Clement. Nothing to scream home about there, but we can cover up that 92 Fleer finally. Starting to give me anxiety staring at that ugly shit, but you know, whatever. Dodgers, DeLuca, Perez, and Kevin Brown. That's like using instant coffee right there. It just ain't the same. Let's scoot the Pirates pile over a little bit. Before they throw an encroachment flag on my Dodgers pile there. Jose Hernandez. Cover that up there. Ellis Burks, Giants. Nice little card. Let's see. Yankers, Nick Johnson. Another one of those. Different set, but, you know, whatever. Jermaine Dye. For the Royals. Alright, what do we got next? Um, Got a couple of these. Let's see what these are. Let's see. Astros. Oswalt. Nice little card. Prestige 03, I think it is. Yep. Astros. And we got the Mets. Al Lighter. It's a nice card there. I like some Al Lighter. Pretty nice. Roy Halliday. Rest in peace, homie. For the Boo Jays. I got a shit ton of Halliday stuff, too. Let's see. Ray Durham, Miggy Tejada for the Ace. Pretty nice cards here. I like these. I'm about to dip into the boxes under the table and see if I can find some nicer shit, though. See if we can pick up the quality a little bit. I think we're pretty much out of luck until Friday, though. That's by some miracle one of them gets here Thursday, which will be sweet, but I don't see it happening. Tomorrow's Thursday, so... And that one's paper lost, so Jay Gibbons can go in the Gibbons pile over there. 
let's see what we got here. Let's see, Giants. Detroit and the Pirates. So the Giants. Can't even read that dude's name. Deva Santos. Rios and Hernandez. All right, Expos. Mike Mordecai. Expos are up there. Padres, nothing fancy in here. One little bitty Flare Premium from O2 for the Padres, Ray Linkford. Let's see, Orioles. <coughs> Shit. Right in the shirt. Good deal. Orgeals. Albert Bell. It's that time of day, man. Right around lunchtime when I get hungry, I start sneezing for some reason. See what I did there? I made a little made a little wrap. Sneezing for some reason. Thank you. I'm here all week, literally. Monday through Saturday at 10 o'clock. On the Sunrise Coast. That would be the Eastern, in case you geography people out there didn't finish your subjects. Homework. Uh, Devil Rays are right there. Thank you, Sam. We are Corona proof here. It went into the shirt, so y'all are safe. All the cards are uninfected. Uh, Detroit. Little Bobby Higginson action there. That's a pretty nice card. Flair Authority Baseball. What year is that from? That is 2001. And the Pirates. Brian Giles. Nice little card. Cool little logo. We're going to make that the topper for that pile there. See if I can find some newer shit. Hang on. Oh, there's that roll of tape I was looking for last night. If y'all care about tape. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Found some good logo stuff. What a beauty. And I freed up another... 930 count box there. See that empty box? That'll come in handy. When it goes time to put all this crap up here. Alright, let me see what kind of... See what kind of sets we got working here. Man, we got some pretty stuff in here. Good lord. That'll work. Let's see. Some Don Rusty. We'll set that pile over here. One second, fellas. We got some good logo stuffs coming up here. Some really, really, really nice logo stuff, finally. Thank God. Uh-oh. That one fell off the top of the lid there. Yay for logo stuff. Homie found a nice box. Um, we'll put those right there. That one goes right there. 
Hang on one second, guys. Let me get this stuff uh, put into the appropriate pile here, and then we'll get busy. Let's see. That goes over there. Oh, we got some nice Diamond King stuff, too. Hot damn. About to be bling blinging up in here. Some of this pretty logo stuff here. right here with you hang on one second I found a shit ton of flare ultra in here too good lord let's see where the diamond kings pile go right there And I think the rest of this is Fleer Ultra. Oh, we found some more shinies. Hot damn. Almost back. We'll do the shinies first. Not a big fan of upper deck, but they do got some shiny or some uh some good logos on them. We got some eighty nine Fleer. I think it's eighty nine. Nope, eighty eight. But still works. Got some more good logo stuff right there. All right, one more pile. Put those right there. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? stacks out of the way here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, shiny stuff inbound. Check that out. Twins. Ron Coomer. Uh, uh, excuse me. Nice little card there. Sorry for the delay. We got Detroit Juan Gonzalez. Tell me that ain't sexy for a year 2000. Look at that thing, man. Dance with it. I got a bunch of this stuff, man. It's already made it. Most of us it. already made its way into the boxes already, but the fluorescent light. Little tip to you guys. Get some fluorescent lights. You want to show off your stuff? That'll do it, brother. All right, that's the shiny, shiny, shiny. Here's the semi shiny, and that one's got something on the back of it. That's trash. Alrighty then. Rockies. Joe, or excuse me, Jose Ortiz, my bad. 
Rangers, Chan Ho Park. Some pretty cards, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'll cover that one up there. Mark Mulder, Ace. Donuts, eh? That's a good plan, man. I'm gonna have to get me some donuts today. Let's see, Dodgers, Sean Green, Ramos Ramirez, Pirates. Yeah, we got enough logo stuff to finish out the day pretty strong, man. I wish I'd have checked that box this morning. But that's cool, whatever. Who's that Indian there? By the way, Travis Fryman. And Wade Miller for the Houston Assholes. And we're going to put the logo back on top there. I want to see logos, baby. Here's some more half ass shinies. These are pretty nice, too. Astros. Oh, no, not my camera out of the way. There we go. Sorry about that. Astros, Mark. Sacramento, I guess is how you say it. Rookie card. Pretty nice. It's always nice to find a rookie card. And that's going to be the new logo right there. I like that. That's a nice card. What your upper deck is that? That is 2001 Upper Douche. <clears throat> All right, Brad Radke twins, Boof Bonzer twins. I just like to grow up being named Boof. Wouldn't that be that be something, wouldn't it? Twenty twin twins. <clears throat> Excuse me. Smoker's cough, not Corona cough. slash allergies slash being fat and out of shape and not much I can do about that but I want to go walk around the yard about 20 times a day which I might have to start doing Boof was pretty good with a name like Boof dude you better be good at sports you can get your ass whooped if you ain't Boston, Julio Lugo, some sexy card. I love the logo design on that card. But unfortunately. Alright, let's see. Rangers, Blaylock. Makes it so easy to sort. My God. You can get spoiled pretty quick with logos like that. I'll leave that one front and center. Got the logo there and a the logo on the shirt and the hat. Yeah, that's a good card. Let's see. Let's get the sideways shit out of here. Stuff's getting on my nerves. All right. Brew Crew. Jason Kendall. Milwaukee. The Brew Crew stack is white heel. And unfortunately, we still don't have a good logo for them, but we're about to fix that because I got a lot of logo shit over here. Cubbies, Derek Lee. And the Cubbies joints are right here. Nationals, Chad Cardero. There's a checklist. Christian Guzman. That's a nice card right there. That shit in the trash. I don't like checklists. Put that big old Nationals patch on the jersey there. Do I even have a Nationals pile yet? I don't think so. Nope. Sure doesn't. Alright. Detroit Nate Robertson. Robert. Son. Put that right there. Rockies, Ryan Spielbergs. 
Jason Grilly. Rocky's getting some love finally. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Dodgers. Hiroki Kuroda. Probably had to clean him up so he don't Kuroda. Yep. That was cool. Admit it. Or not. It's cool. Whatever. Saltalamakia. Yep. Uh, Caesar is tourist Cardinals. Yeah, that'd be cool. See them on a combo card. Battle of the S's or some crazy shit like that. That'd be cool. I got a couple of Lamakia joints. Played for my Braves for a while. I think I got some of his Braves stuff too. Let's see, Joe Blinn, Jack Wilson, and Ryan Dumit for the P-Rots. Or the Phillies, excuse me. I thought it was Pirates. Oh, shit. Hang on a second. Shit almost looks identical. See them logos? How close the P's look? Craziness, man. Craziness. Jeff's back in the house. Welcome back, Pimpin. Finding some more goodies here. Gavin Floyd socks. Howie Kendrick Angels. Royals Tony Pena. <clears throat> Yep, spend a little time with the twenty or the Tigers for sure. Nice Jose Lopez for the Mariners. Hang on one second. <coughs> Well, neighbor didn't have a whole lot of wood to cut. Pop's already bringing the tractor back. Let's see. Indians. Joe Carter. Bud Black. Yeah, we got some 90 upper deck. Shut up. Oh, there's an the Indian on the back there. Greg Swindale. It's all got to get sorted eventually. That's the problem with collecting shit. I think what I'm going to start doing is when I get the uh, Fairfield boxes and break those, I think I'm going to go ahead and team sort the box after I sort it, or after I rip it, rather. That way I don't end up with another 3,200 count box. I got two 3,200 count boxes of this shit down there. <clears throat> so, yeah. I finally got a Boston logo, though. That's pretty cool. All right, Angels. Uh, let's see the Angels pile, Claudel Washington. Not exactly the Angel you want to get, but I'm good. Time to make a post office run. All righty, buddy. Appreciate you hanging out, homie. All right, Cardinals, Willie McGee. Let me go ahead and hook my headphones up to my other phone. So Pop's probably fixing to call me. <clears throat> All right, Geronimo Barua. Braves. He's probably going to want to go to Lowe's here in a minute. So I might have to depart rapidly here in a second. But we'll hang out until he calls me. Jamie Navarro. We really need to go find some some household stuff in case this nationwide shutdown shit really happens. You heard anything more about that, Jeff? Mm. 
Mets, Keith Hernandez, Blaine Beatty, Tim Burke. <clears throat> you don't think it's going to happen either? Okay. I hope like hell it don't, man, because... Can you imagine the grocery stores being shut down for two weeks? That would put a lot of the truckers on the sideline. I don't know how they can get away with doing that. I really don't see that happening myself. But if it gets another couple of mentions in the news, me and Pop will have to make a store run and fill up all the freezers. We got three freezers and we'll be respectful and spread it out over several different stores but you know most of the stores are putting limits on all the shit anyway which is what they should have done to start with as soon as all this stuff went down we wouldn't be dealing with the situation we're dealing with now with everything being out and gone as soon as it hits the shelves they limit everything to one a customer they could get a lot more people covered But nope, people had to be stupid. Stupid, greedy, whatever adjective you want to put in there. <clears throat> I swear the general public makes me want to bitch slap the whole lot of them. Alright, Rockies, do some Diamond King stuff here. Get a little artwork flowing. Glad he senior. Rockies, Todd Hilton, 03 Diamond King. It's got a nice logo on it, on the hat there. I'll put that up front and center. Twins, Corey Koski. I'll show them to you when I flip them over. It's easier to read the back than the front most of the time. Here's the Koski 20. The Orgials, or the Orange Birds, or whatever you want to call them. Jay Gibbons. Hopefully he still wants to go to Lowe's today because I'd like to get my piece of acrylic and start working on my new desktop piece here. This one's too small. I don't like it. I'm going to clean the desk off the rest of the way. Let's see, Benito Santiago, Diamond Kings. We got a nice Giants logo on his sleeve there. I think we're going to leave that one on the top. But yeah, my current logo. Got to be a redneck. Got to have the tape handy all the time. For measuring shipping boxes and stuff. Let's see, the current logo is 17 by... About 20. The new piece I'm going to get is 23 by, call it 23 by 27. And that's approximate. <clears throat> Let's see, Mariners, who we got here, Edgar Martinez, nice. But they got some really reasonably priced, like, smoked out acrylic light fixture covers. I'm going to get one of those if it has a smooth front on it. If it's got a roughed up front, that would be nice too, because I can take a sander to it. It was a Maglio Diamond King I just found. Sorry, I didn't tell you what it was. I can take a Dremel tool and sand it down smooth and then paint it. Uh, Brew Crew, that's a nice logo. We'll leave that one front and center there. <clears throat> yeah, I figured it was, but I'm not a big fan of calling people out. 
for stirring the pot and spreading rumors and inciting panic and it's actually a criminal offense by the way if it leads to a mass hysteria you can actually be brought up on felony charges for that shit by the government Scott rolling fillies that's a nice little head shot there we'll leave that one up top nice little pirates card definitely covering up the 90 upper deck and the Juan Gonzalez, the hell was that? I don't know what that was. Something just fell off the PlayStation over there. And the Rangers is also a nice little cap cover there. <clears throat> All right, let's get this little pile of Dawn Rust done. Let's see, Astros. Let's see, Lance Berkman, Jeff Bagwell for the assholes. Pretty decent logos on those. We'll leave those on the top. Detroit. Yeah, I still talk to a bunch of the officers in my squadron. And I got a few relatives that work inside the Department of Defense. And... Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that. Let's see the Phillies, Pat Burrell. There's a Trot Nixon Red Sox we just passed. It's actually got some stars on the background there. Pretty cool. Uncle's got a pretty good grasp of what's going on. He works for Lockheed, used to work at the Pentagon, so he's got a lot of contacts. And if there was something big in the works, we'd probably know about it before a lot of people. With Pop being in the medical situation he's in, we would get a heads up, I'm pretty sure, unofficially from somebody. Let's see, John Oler, 20th anniversary Donruss. For those that didn't know, Donruss started in 81. <clears throat> Let's see here. Saber Hagen Royals. Go ahead and get this little stack of, uh, what year is this? 98 Fleer. Or 88 Fleer, excuse me. Royals, Jamie Quirk, and these actually look better than the 2002 Fleer, so we're going to leave these on the top here. <clears throat> Since the nasty Kurt Steelwheel, Ranger Steve Bouchel. Rangers, Rangers, where the hell the Rangers go? There they are. Oh, that's the twins. There's the Rangers right there. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's see the mitts. <clears throat> Government does a lot of weird shit, man. You don't ever know what they're going to do until they do it. They don't know what they're going to do until they get it approved. So, While I like a good conspiracy theory, it's all bullshit until it happens. Way it's always been Jesse Barfield, John Sharuti, Sharuti Tootie for the Blue Jays. <clears throat> I don't trust the government either, but I don't make up shit all the time just to have something to do. 
Let's see, Brewers. We're gonna cover up the Diamond Kings because they're getting irritating. Yankers, Dan Pasqua. And the Cardinals. I'll go ahead and cover that up there. Where's this really nice stack of logo stuff at? Now let's knock this little pile out here. There's only a couple of them in here. Tony Fernandez, Blue Jays. Royals, Carlos Beltran. Unfortunately, the logos suck on these, so they're going to have to be on the bottoms. Justin Thompson, Detroit. <clears throat> and Jeff Reed for the Rockies. Still not a very good logo, so... Actually, leave a 2002 Donruss on... 2001 Donruss on top. And let's see. Let's go with these guys right here next. And we're going to have to look at the back of these. Detroit. Some nice logos on these. Shame they put them on the back. Debbie Cruz. <clears throat> Let's see, Pirates. Jose Silva. Got a lot of stuff sorted today. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but every pile's got about 30 cards in it. Cardinals. Yeah, they got warehouses full of them coffins, man. That ain't nothing new. That's all part of the mass casualty emergency plan or whatever they call it nowadays. They got those things stored all over the country. That ain't no shocker there. Let's see, Royals. Carlos Fabulous, I guess is how you say his name. That's how I almost say it. <clears throat> Brewers. Let's see, Rafael Roku Burnitz and Marquise Grissom. I didn't know Marquise Grissom played for the Brewers. That's a new one to me. All right, Yankees. Orlando Hernandez, David Cohn, or Ramiro Mendoza. <clears throat> Oliveris, Matt Stairs, all right, Dodgers, Chan Ho Park, where my Dodgers pile at, there it is right there, we're going to put that shiny joint back on top, logo uniforms are getting confusing Red Sox Wilton Varus again some more sense of nasty Mike Cameron action there Astros Jose Cabrera Cliff Floyd for the fish. And Bartolo Colon with the 
Actually got a fuzzed up corner on it. We'll chuck that one. That one's good. Alamar Jr. For the engines. Wherever the engines pile went. There it is right there. Alright. Let's see here. Logo piles. This one's a good logo pile here. <clears throat> see Diamondbacks. These are sexy man. These victory cards are nice. Deck Victory 02. Pretty nice. I like them. Craig Council Lugo again. Some pretty nice logos. We'll leave them on top for a while until they get irritating. Dodgers. Terry Adams, Kevin Brown. And a Dodgers pile. Yep, we'll put those up there. Yankers, another damn Nick Johnson and a Vanderwall. All right, Kevin, be cool, brother. Holler at you tomorrow morning, bud. Uh, Sean Estes and Joe McEwing for the Mets. Up there. Oh, they're here whenever you're ready for them, brother. Going to have a lot of new Yankees in Friday, so make sure you're back for that. But you will be. You're here every day, so you're not going to miss much. <laughs> you buy a lot of food for me, man. Love you, brother. Have yourself a good rest of your day. Just waiting on Pop to get the tractor parked and get back inside the house and he'll get him a glass of water and figure out if he still feels like going to Augusta today to get some stuff for the house. Which I hope he feels like going because I need, like I said, I want to get some stuff for the shop as well. I try to keep all my own food down here. These are some sexy cars, man. 20th anniversary flare platinum very nice devil rays i don't think we're gonna have one for every team but these are gonna be the new logo toppers here there's a devil ray gerald williams another gerald williams so we got the tampa bay bobbies three more cards Damn, somebody fart in the room or something? Everybody hauled ass. The hell, man. Indians. We'll finish this stack. Probably call it a day. Everybody's leaving already, so. Chuck Finley. Russell Branyan and Omar Vizquel for the engines. Mets, Timo Perez. Pete in the pool. Yep, yeah, tell me about it, man. Royals, Roberto Hernandez. These are some nice cars, man. I love these. Royals, Jermaine Die. Oh, was that a Royal? Nope. Alright, Royals are right there. <clears throat> What's up, Nikki? How you doing? Motivation's overrated. Or did you not get that email? <laughs> Got a lot of tigers in this pile. Damn, tigers making a comeback. <clears throat> Let's see, Encarnacion, Cedeno, Palmer, Tony Clark, Damon Easley. Tigers breaking bad up in here. 
Let's see, Marlins, Charles Johnson, Cliff Floyd, Preston Wilson. Marlins, Marlins, Marlins. Derek Lee. Marlins getting a little love there. What you looking for on Pinterest? <clears throat> Let's see the twins. Corey Koski, Matt Lawton, and Doug Minkowitz. Phillies, Mike Lieberthal. Scott Rowland, Robert Person, Phillies are right there. I need to move them up here to where the Reds are. They're getting pretty tall there. <laughs> yep, raised beds are the way to go. Make sure you put black plastic tarp or something in the bottom of the box to keep the moisture in. Drill a few holes through the bottom so it drains properly but keeps the moisture in. That'll help you a lot with moisture control. <clears throat> it's a lot easier to keep the weeds out of it too with a raised bed. Unless you feel like putting a bunch of pots out which I highly discourage. Pots kind of suck. Let's see. Rockies. But we're about to wrap this up here after this stack, I think. Gotta go see what Pop's got in his head for the rest of the day. Get a little ham sandwich action or something. <clears throat> Let's see, Diamondbacks, Brian Anderson, Matt Williams, Tony Womack. Astros, Lugo, Ellerton, and Lance B. Astros right there. Hey, A's. A's pile right there. Dodgers, Chan Ho Park. A lot of Chan Ho Park today. Yep, there you go. Let's see, Brewers, Jeffrey Hammonds a couple times. Let's see, Giants. If y'all need to unload some stuff, let me know. I can put your name on the hundo pretty quick. Let's see. Red Sox, Nomo, Troy O'Leary. And Trevor Hoffman for the Padres. And that's going to wrap up today. Appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out. Be back in the morning. Yeah, I got five boxes on the way right now because I didn't hear anything from him.
but if he wants to throw one together, let me know pretty quick. It'll probably be a week or two, though. So, no rush, but... I paid all my box bills this morning, so... Get the rest of my stuff handled, get my stocks wrapped up for the month, and then see what I got left over. And we can go from there. Yeah, I talked to him a couple weeks ago. Told him, I was like, hey, man, if you want to get a box ready to go by the first, I'll hook you up. But I never heard anything back, so I went ahead and purchased shit from elsewhere. I know y'all need the money, so I was trying to hook y'all up first. But I didn't hear anything, so I had to make arrangements to get elsewhere, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for my suppliers. Love you guys. But if I don't hear something in a couple of days, I go ahead and make other arrangements because I got to have inventory. So, y'all have a good day. I'm going to go see what pops up to. Grab me a ham sandwich. And yeah, we'll see what we can get into today. Y'all be good. Holler at you tomorrow. Cross your fingers, the damn phone chargers come in so I can use my new phone. But y'all be good. Later.